This is Jupiter Today for the 17th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant four, heading east. Europa starts the day in quadrant one, heading east. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant three, heading west. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant four, heading east. This blue line is the line of sight to Earth. And this gray line is the line of sight to the sun. At 6 hours UTC, Io has moved behind Jupiter and is now in quadrant 1 heading east. Europa is at its eastern elongation and is going to be going into quadrant 2, going to be going west. At 12 hours UTC, Io is near its eastern elongation and be moving also into quadrant 2 heading west. Europa is now firmly in quadrant 2 heading west. At 18 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant 2, heading west, as well as Europa. And at 1934, Europa goes through an apogee, that's the furthest distance from Jupiter it will be in its orbit. And that's 677,204.4 kilometers. And at 2002 UTC, EO goes through a perigee, that's the closest it's going to be to Jupiter in this orbit, and that's 420,019.8 kilometers. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, Io is beginning its transit of Jupiter, and Europa is coming up behind it. Ganymede and Callisto are still in their corresponding quadrants, although Callisto is going to be moving behind Jupiter from Earth's point of view pretty soon. There are four Jupiter satellite events today. At 1.48 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter. At 4.22 UTC, EO reappears from behind the shadow of Jupiter. At 22.58, the transit of EO begins. And at 23.14, the shadow of EO ingresses. And there's one satellite mutual event today. And that goes from 1044 to 1052 UTC when Ganymede eclipses Callisto. It's an 8.2 minute event with a very shallow magnitude flux drop of 0.057 magnitudes. Callisto is 140.08 arc seconds from Jupiter and Ganymede and Callisto are 34.89 arc seconds apart. And the Google Earth map shows the visibility of this event. This point here is the location on the Earth where Jupiter is at the zenith at the time of this event. And so the west coast of North America and the east, eastern Asia, eastern Australia, and you folks in Hawaii will be able to see this event. Orbital ribbons for today. So I've just connected the same times in the orbits of the four moons together. These are the same orbits that you saw earlier. And I've just connected the same time points here to make some interesting patterns. So here's the connection between Io and Europa. And Io and Ganymede. And Io and Callisto. And then Europa and Ganymede. Europa and Callisto. And Ganymede and Callisto. And I combine them all and colorize them a little bit. And for today we get that. It's 24 hours of Jupiter's sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter, looking out. And this is what we would see over the next 24 hours if we were there. And 
Neo just popped into Jupiter's shadow. And it pops back out. It looks like he's going to overtake Europa here, as it should be. It's a closer orbit to Jupiter, so it appears to be moving faster. Won't quite see that event from this longitude. Jupiter's red spot crosses the meridian twice, first at 6.32 and the second at 16.28 UTC. There was a new image posted. And there was also some new radio data posted. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 15 minutes, 20.1 seconds, and a declination of positive 16 degrees, 57 minutes, 0 0.5 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth today, is 168.262 degrees and that's 1.134 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, which is the angle between the Sun and the Earth as seen from Jupiter, is 2.161 degrees and that's 0 0.206 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter is 652,883,789 kilometers and that's 479,945 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 19,997.71 kilometers per hour and that's 1,937.58 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The Earth is accelerating away from Jupiter. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun today is 798,161,882 kilometers, and that's 45,857 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,910.71 kilometers per hour. And that's 4.08 kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 284.36 degrees. CM2, 221.23 degrees. CM3, 132.48 degrees. The time of this recording is 1.37 UTC on the 17th of February, 2015. So please subscribe, and thank you to those who are subscribing and watching. Make sure to tell everyone you know about this podcast and the project that I'm involved in. It's a ever-growing and ever-evolving project. More information to come on that as time goes by. So you can send your questions and comments and suggestions to make improvements on this podcast and your images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.